The final season of Yellowstone is on the horizon and I am buzzing with mixed emotions, especially after watching the latest trailer. The trailer kicks off with some of John Dutton's words. Everyone's forgotten who runs this valley. Time to remind them. If you've been following the show, you might be scratching your head about his presence in these scenes. After all, it's been made clear that Kevin Costner, the actor who stars as John, won't be in the new season, so what's the deal here? What is he doing in this trailer for the final season? First off, let's address the elephant in the room, Kevin's controversial departure from Yellowstone. After playing John for five seasons, Kevin's exit came as a shock to a lot of us, however, he had had valid reasons to leave the show. Reportedly, Kevin had scheduling conflicts with his other project, Horizon. Plus, the tension between the actor and showrunner Taylor Sheridan didn't help either, with rumors suggesting creative differences played a part in the fallout. Kevin himself hasn't shied away from expressing his frustrations, mentioning in interviews that the situation was disappointing and not what he had hoped for. Now, seeing John in these trailers has many of us wondering if the scenes are from newly filmed episodes or if they're recycled footage. Most likely, they were filmed during season 5 part 1 but left on the cutting room floor until now. It's almost like they're teasing us with the idea of more Kevin even though we know better. Does it bug you that they're still using his image or are you here for it? Let me know in the comments below. Speaking of recycled footage, the trailer isn't just playing with John Dutton's legacy, we also see scenes like Beth saying, our family legacy needs this ranch, which hardcore fans will recognize from season 2. Our family legacy is this ranch. Why are they reusing older clips in the new trailer, you may ask? Well, some people speculate that it's because the editing for the final season may not be complete. With a tight deadline before the November 10 release, it's possible that they're filling the gaps with familiar scenes. I personally would have loved to see a trailer consisting of brand new scenes, but after two years of waiting for new episodes, I'm fine with whatever they provide me with. Just release the new season already, that's all I ask for. Of course, we can't talk about Yellowstone without discussing the Dutton family's fight to keep their beloved ranch. In the latest trailer, we hear Rip say he's willing to protect the ranch with his life, and this has always been a central theme of the show. And I'll protect it with my life. But as we approach the series finale, it's becoming clearer that the Duttons might not be able to hold on to the ranch for much longer. In 1883, the show's prequel, it was hinted that the Duttons would lose the ranch after seven generations with the land returning to its original owners who are the Native Americans. The bond between Rainwater and Case seen in the trailer suggests that even if the Duttons lose the ranch, Case and Monica may still have a connection to the land through this blood brotherhood with Rainwater. So there is a high chance that the land will be given to the reservation, but since Monica and Case will be regarded as part of the reservation, they'll continue ruling the ranch. One of the most interesting elements of the trailer is Thomas Rainwater's declaration. This is the hill we will die on, referring to the land in Montana. This is the hill we die on. It's becoming more and more apparent that the reservation will play a crucial role in the final battle for the Yellowstone Ranch. Do you think the Duttons will truly lose the ranch? Let me know in the comments below. The trailer also gives us glimpses of Jamie, whose storyline has always been tragic. Despite his efforts to gain respect, Jamie has been constantly manipulated. And this time, the guilty party is no one but Sarah. She compares him to a younger lion ready to take down the old lions, hinting that Jamie might play a bigger role in taking down John's empire. Old lions die in the jaws of younger lions, and you are the younger lion. But can Jamie really stand up to the family, or is he being set up for another failure? In another scene in the trailer, Sarah slaps Jamie, reminding him that she risked everything for him. So perhaps Jamie will lose Sarah as well, fighting against Beth all alone. Do you think Sarah would betray him after all this? I took all the risk. 
and I took it for you. And what's up with Rip and Lloyd burning a car that looks suspiciously like Jamie's Durango? So we getting in this fight? We can figure out who to fight and how to fight them. Is Jamie in danger or are they covering up something for him? Let me know your theories in the comments. We all know that Beth has an animosity toward Jamie that has been brewing for seasons and the trailer shows her warning case about their brother. He will ruin this family's name. However, Case has always been more forgiving, showing a soft spot for Jamie. The tension between Beth and Jamie is likely to reach its peak in this final season and it will force Case to make a choice between two of his siblings. Also, let's not forget that we see Jamie holding a rifle against someone. We also see him looking very suspicious. It is clear that he once again has a lot of plans and projects in mind and is determined to surprise Beth with his attacks. Do you have any idea what Jamie's final plan against his sister is? Which brings us to perhaps the biggest question of the final season. Who do you think will win in the end? Beth or Jamie? And if you like spoilers and want to actually see a leak from the filming of the final episodes which reveal what happens between Beth and Jamie, you should check out a previous video I made. I'm gonna be putting it in the description box below. Moving on. Rip has always been a stabilizing force for Beth, but even he seems to be struggling with the weight of protecting the ranch. In one scene, we see Rip throwing a bottle into a fire, clearly frustrated. As Beth reaches her breaking point, Rip reminds her of her duty to the ranch. You can do this anymore. Well, you're gonna have to, honey. Or we're gonna lose this place. But can their love for each other and the ranch be enough to keep the family together? I doubt so. I believe if Case and Monica get the ranch as part of the reservation, then Rip and Beth will be forced to move to the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas, leaving Yellowstone behind. And yes, this will not sit right with the couple. If anything, it will hurt their relationship to the core. But these are just my opinions. Let me know what you think about it. One surprising moment in the trailer shows Carter now older and seemingly following in Rip's footsteps shooting a rifle. It's clear that Carter is gradually transforming into the next Rip, but what does that mean for his future? Will he stay loyal to the family or could he be pulled into the family's internal conflicts? What do you think of Carter's evolution into Rip's protege? Let me know in the comments. In the very final scene of the trailer, we see Beth and John talking. As John declares that the war has just started, Beth encourages him to kill as many people as he can before they can kill him. This war is just beginning. The only thing left to do is to kill as much as you can before they kill you. Beth knows the ending is near for her father and she's not ready to see him go without fighting. Do you think John will have the time to fight against his enemies or will he be killed in the first episode of the new season? Can't wait to hear your thoughts about it. Watch this video to see when the Yellowstone prequel 1923 season 2 will be out.